bit there and meet our special guest for the morning. It's Emma Dale Stark, Kelsey Beth Crossley. Good morning to you. How are you? Hello, you right? thank you, yes. Now, Kelsey Beth, we can call you Kelsey, can't you? Yeah. Yes, are you, you Christian Kelsey not. Beth or is that stage? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Kelsey Beth, but okay. whatever you want. Uh, well, mind. she's been playing kind hearted Scarlet Nichols, the secret love child of uh, nurse Carrie Nichols and millionaire Tom King, for five years. Now, Scarlet's half brother Carl, he died last week after being battered with a brick, uh, first by his ex Chastity Dingle, who he just tried to rape, and then by her lover Cameron. Now, Scarlett rocks up for Carl's funeral on Thursday, and we can Wednesday. offer you... Wednesday. Oh, no, no, I know it's been changed since Thursday. Thursday. I'm on, on, on Wednesday. Oh, indeed. <laughs> we can offer you a sneak peek of the funeral. Have a look at this. Oh, awesome. Which I will get on to now. Yes. OK, then. Bye. Scarlett, hi. Hello. Jimmy's not actually... So I see. But you are here. Yes, yeah, it's what you might call a change in personnel. Well, obviously. One of the mean dead. Yeah, I just want to say I'm really sorry about your brother. I'll bet. Oh, it doesn't sound it. Scarlett, I, uh, I want you to say sorry. I did, you know, what I thought was best. By the way, Scarlett, your brother killed your dad. It's a hard thing to say, I get it. Yeah, well, sorry. Sorry you told me, or sorry you didn't. I'm sorry it happened. Angel was shaving Barbie's head upstairs. <laughs> That's my girl. <clears throat> Playing devil's advocate, would it be so bad if Jimmy sold his share of the company? It's all he knows. No offence to him, but Carl was the business brain. Jimmy drives trucks. Forty-odd. No qualifications. What's he going to do when the money runs out? Be trained as a teacher? I mean, I could help him out. Handouts from the little sister. We might as well just take him to the vets and get him neutered. If he hasn't got haulage... I'm at the end of my rope. We'll have to work on him together. I think she's won. Charity is no match for me and you. It's far from over. So, you drop Angelica off and then just go back home? I'll pick her up later. And until then? Hey, take a day off from open, come into work. Oh, what's the point? Charity can handle everything. Charity's barely even there. I'm the one left holding the fault, which for a few days I don't mind, but this is getting stupid. You can't just keep sitting at home feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention your long romantic walks by yourself. Yeah, it's a regular run. I just can't find the paperwork. Well, it's not here. Can't you have a word with Jimmy? I don't think I haven't tried. Well, try again, will you? He's not interested. Thinks Charity can handle everything. I've told him that she's barely here, but... Yeah, probably at the hospital. Why don't you ring Hopton's and um, ask what they want you to do? <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea. Makes us look pretty unprofessional. So does not turning up. Hi. Hi. Hiya. Is Jimmy around? When's he ever? I can't keep covering for him. He's not answering his phone. I've just had the solicitor on to me, wants to talk about Carl's will. I'm not sure Jimmy's ready to face that. A mate of mine's having a party on Saturday. Wants to know if I'll be home. We can't go. Not yet. We've hardly done anything. We could treat it like a proper holiday. Have days out and stuff. Hey, don't use me as an excuse not to go into work. I'm not. Oh, come on, Scarlett. You know Angel will miss you, and so will I. You can always visit, especially once you've got all that free time on your hands. What time's the solicitor coming? Half twelve. Why do we care, though? He'll have left it all to Charles. I don't know. I think we've got it wrong. I reckon he'll have left it all to his kids. Well, truth is, Carl would have taken it all with him if he could, just to spite the rest of us. Oh, come on. Just because he was murdered doesn't make him a saint. I'm not defending Charles, but if she hadn't got him, there'd be a queue lining up. I know Carl was a git. But you hating him like this doesn't help. Look at the number he pulled on Jimmy. He's got no hope, no confidence. 
He's all set to sell the only chance we've got a decent life. And even if he did, maybe it's not the end of the world. Really? He'd be signing away our future. And angels. By the time she wants to go to college, we'll probably be skint and living on the street. Oh, don't start all that again. Well, it's not like you'd listen anyway. It should have gone to Thomas and Anya. No, Jim. He knew he could count on you to look after them. So I guess this changes everything. We have a home, a car, a business, if you want to keep it. You're not still going to sell, are you? Paul obviously thought it should be yours. Time was everyone thought that, before Carl snatched it from under my nose. He always knew which buttons to press with Dad. But Tom realised he'd made a mistake at the end. Did he? He must have. You and Carl had your rows. But in that letter, it shows deep down he always loved you. He'd want you to keep the business going, Jim. And I'm not saying that you haven't worked hard. My initiative, my contacts, who do you think has turned this place around? Me, that's who! To me. And you're not going to do this to me. Do what? I'm sorry. I really am. I know I've been too wrapped up in my own grief to think straight, but... Carl's words yesterday... They meant something. Yeah, and Carl was going to sell to me, and that is what he wanted. Well, this is my chance to put that right. You're not going to sell? Oh, he is. I'm sorry, he's made a deal and he's going to stick to it, whether he likes it or not. The look on Charity's face was the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm taking that back to Canada with me. Well, that's really going to help, isn't After it? After what she said about you, who cares? She still owns 20% of the company. I've still got to work with her. Yeah. Good luck with that. By the way, don't drink the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone can have a laugh. Where have you been? I've been phoning. I know. I'm sorry. He was too busy not selling the haulage company. Oh, thanks for that. Too busy... T Seriously? I know I've been a nightmare lately, and I know that you were against me selling from the start. You should listen to me, then. Might save us a lot of bother. I had to find that out for myself. And now he has.